put a question in the air. And that question is, what does he have to do in the next three to four months to make people believe that he's going to be in next year's Premier League? Because he's not a shoe in He's going to have to have a big run in big events probably multiple times to get himself back towards the top 10. If he gets back in the top 10 by the end of the year, I think he'll be in the Premier League. Okay. Well, he needs to take care of business first and foremost here as well because success on the European tour might also prove a helping hand. I think you're right, Rob, because it's been a very long time since he's won one of these. He won one of the very first ones. But he's not won one since, which is baffling. Yeah, he won the German Masters in 2012. Uh, but he did win the European Championship itself in 2013. So not a Euro not a Euro Tour event in its own right, but it's the culmination of the European but Tour. But he, he won the Championship game, you could say. Yeah. He didn't win one of the regular season games. But he does seem to be very much oh, in love with the Euro Tour again. I mean, he had that time in 2017 where he competed, you know, sparingly in fits and starts here and there and consequently he fell short of the required money to get into the European Championship. 423. Uh, but yeah, lately, you've got to say, he's, he's developed this reputation for being a man to be feared on the Euro Tour once again. Semi-finalist in Hildesheim. 86. Uh, three weeks ago, 65. lost to Gurney 7-5. Yeah, just run out of steam in that game. And tops for Red House. A very good start for Richie. Richie yeah. So and, I think it's eight uh, the very first game on. Red House, I think, may take some encouragement from the fact that these two have met just the once before on the European Tour. Two times in total, but the so one European not. Tour meeting was at the uh, very start of last year in Leverkusen. It was a first round match and Lewis came through, but it was only by six legs to five. I'm just trying to remember that game. I think that was a better. Well, they averaged very similar numbers, and it was when Lewis was still unseeded for these Euro Tour events. His ranking, his Pro Tour order of merit, was below uh, the top 16. I remember that game now. Richie played really, really well, and he was really taking it to Adrian, and Jackpot was just sticking with him. And at the end, Richie missed one or two match darts 94. to nick that game away from Adrian, and Adrian took it. It was a really good game. Yeah, and they met again a couple of weeks later as well on the Pro Tour, and Lewis again won that one, but this time it was 6 3. Adrian going for the Rob Cross 3 or 2 there, which is three triple 18s. But Rob's probably the only guy who would stay on the 18s on the 140 checkout. 100. I think the way that both of these players play on the hockey the pace of play it suits the two of them and they're not hanging about well Lewis looks all set to level things up uh, the winner of this match by the way to face either Joe Cullen or Glenn Duran tasty part of the draw tasty darts from Adrian the leg is rich in response to that game on he could be in for something very similar to what we saw from these guys at the beginning of last season. 60. I've been asked on many occasions from pundits and interviewers alike as Adrian just flinches over his left shoulder and whoever's whistling needs to be addressed. 45. But I've been asked by many people, who did I enjoy playing the most? I actually really enjoy playing against Adrian and no, MPG. I really like playing within their rhythm and I felt like I was comfortable. I was very comfortable playing against Phil Taylor as well. Okay. And of course you played Six. Lewis on the Euro Tour last year in Gibraltar. I don't really want to remind you of oh, that. I don't it was, mind that. I mean, it was a great match. I loved it. It was a great game. Really enjoyed it. 13 legs of Bedlam. Yeah, he uh, lost to Van Gerwen in the final, Lewis, after overcoming Nicholson in the last four. Made the semi-finals in Denmark as well. Uh, quarter-finals, successive quarter-finals oh, in Hildesheim, in the Dutch Darts Championship and in Risa. As I said, seems to have fallen in love with the Euro Tour once again. 85. I think Adrian's just really happy that he doesn't have to qualify for these at the minute. He can... Enjoy that little six next to his name or something similar and come into the tournament at this stage and 
condense a tournament down to two days as opposed to three. It's so much harder to win it over three days than, than two. 92. Ed House, one of these players who's uh, balancing life on the Challenge Tour. He's actually uh, doing really well on the Challenge Tour so far. He is top of the order of merit with £2,600. He won a Challenge Tour event earlier this year. He's making up the field at Pro Tour events as well. He's playing in the European Tour too. 70. Adrian should go for 60 here. Anybody goes 18 first on one one it's the wrong shot. The Yoko Ono debate, as we call it. <laughs> Tops. Tops for Lewis. 98. 16s for Ed House. 32. Taking his time over this is Richie. Okay, on the third Worth the weight in goal. Absolutely right. Well, like eight in the very first game. Of yeah, failed to... Well, he lost his tour card at the end of last year, did Richie. Failed to pick up any money whatsoever in five of the last six tournaments on the Pro Tour calendar. That really did a lot of damage for him. Went to Q School, made the last 32 on a couple of the four days there, but missed out on the order of merit. And such was the, well, such are the demands of Q School. I mean, there was one match where he played really well against Nathan Rafferty, but Rafferty threw a, an average of 108 or something. And that just gives you an indication of the the levels of intensity and pressure that you are likely to encounter at Wigan. Standard level for a youth player these days. Oh, well, yeah. Chucking in the old 108. But, yeah, he's had a run to the last 16 on the Pro Tour this year when he has been topping up the field, and he's making the most of those opportunities as well. Just a very good player. Has been for years. I remember the first time I ever played Richie in a qualifier for the, oh, the Dutch Masters, and he beat me in the final game. He gave me a real... Real tousling as well. And I went back to my table with my tail between my legs and I said, Who's that guy? James Hubbard said to me, Oh, you don't know Richie Eddowes? <laughs> He's brilliant. And I've believed that ever since. Yeah, Brendan Dolan found that out to his cost as well in the first round. 6 4 that day against the 45 year old from Fermanagh. Made his European Tour debut in Venre in 2016, did uh, Ed House. He secured what was at the time the biggest payday of his career two thousand pounds by reaching the last 16. that was the one that right. was the qualifier he beat me in 41. i think he got a buy in that tournament yeah Didn't somebody uh, pull down? robert thornton who had uh, well robert thornton had was in the premier league that year as well and i think he'd had to pull out of a premier league assignment that week as well and Ed House was the beneficiary in Europe. Robert Thornton, I think, had a foot injury or something, or a back injury that prevented him from travelling to Holland. It might have been that incident on the hockey on in the Premier League where he ruled his ankle. 65. But Adrian Lewis is in a little bit of trouble here if Ed House takes this 63. It's a very good approach for double 12. Back to the right side of the board. Yeah, a bit of moving and chewing and throwing there. And chance missed for Ed House for the break of throw that would have given him a 3-1 lead. Double 18 for Lewis. And as sure as night follows day, Lewis pounces and makes it 2-2. How good was that first start? That just looked beautiful. Just lends itself, doesn't it, to yeah, what's going to follow. It just... It went in that treble 20 with such class I mean where Adrian throws these darts you can see everything One about them at that upright angle but when someone gets a 16 it's in the bottom corner or the top left corner something like that you think oh well it's in there but that was really central beautiful dart thrown to give him that chance Ed House likes the Netherlands by the way he also made the uh, as well as the I think of course he was a semi-finalist in the Dutch Darts Championship last year as well. 26. Lost to Ricky Evans. Yeah, certain players like certain places. No, Jamie Caven was one player who wasn't really fussed by where he won because he would always win in different places. 135. Well, Adrian's won in quite a few places. He's won a World Series event in New Zealand. 
won all over the world. But that's the only part of the ball he's concerned with right now. Down to 161, pressure on this 127 to an extent for Richie Edhouse. Well, that expression from Richie tells me he knows he's in a match yet. He's going to have to squeeze that orange for all the juice it's got. You expect Adrian to be close. He is very close and he's really pressurised this 25. Double eight then for a 3-2 lead for Richie Edhouse. Lewis waiting on 24 and he will get a crack at 24 as well. Just goes to show if you put the pressure on you can make your opponent think twice. Two threes. Ooh. Shake of the head from Jack Pot as he trudges to the back of the stage. Doesn't look totally happy out there at the moment. Lewis not quite sure what the issue is he highlighted a, a whistle an isolated whistle from the crowd I think that's died down but yeah, it just looks a little bit lethargic lethargic yeah that's uh, that's the word I was desperately scrambling for there Paul thank you very much 96 yeah he's made a few changes lately jackpot with his equipment and I think he's settled on this stuff here after a period of three to four months of, of looking for something and it's definitely working. It looks great. It's going in the ball with purpose. Consistent angles of entry. Little change this week of not just using standard black flights. He's got a little bit of pattern on there now, which is nice. Well, we saw Ted Everts earlier, didn't we? Beat uh, Johnny Clayton 6-2. Everts, uh, a man who's produced two nine darters so far this year. Likewise, Richie Edhouse. And one of them, finishing on a 1-5-3, which you don't see every day. That's one of the hardest finishes in the, in the book, that well, one. Do you know what? I mean, talk, that Venray tournament in 2016, Benito van der Pas, during that tournament, attempted the very same thing. 1-7-4, 1-7-4, 1-5-3. Missed the double 18 for the nine dart leg. Uh, and that was at the very same tournament where Richie Edhouse had that mini run to the third round. But at the time, I, I remember reading that it was the first time, Van der Pass, it was the first time that anybody had attempted that particular route. I know there's like 4,000 variations and combinations, but it was the first time that anybody had tried the 153 checkout. And I found that very hard to believe. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if there's any way of verifying that. But Tell Michael Van Gerwen that, he'll go for it. <laughs> he hasn't done it yet. Tops. Tens has to go. Oh, it's great dart from Jackpot to equalise. But yeah, if you speak to Van Gerwen and you tell him that exact story, he will do it because he's had two nine darters this year, both different ways, well, he's and he's searching yeah. for different ways to do the third one. Hang on, has he had three? He's had three nine darters. Well, he has this had three, yeah, yeah, my mistake. Three different ways as well. Yeah, he's had uh, 141 check out, the 150 check out, and the 147. Trouble 19, trouble 16, double 18. Trouble 19, trouble 19, double 18. 100. Oh, sorry, trouble 19. I'm getting confused here now. Bull double top on one of them. Yeah, it was trouble 20, trouble 20. Double 12. He's done the orthodox one. Six. By the time his career is over, he will have ticked all the boxes for me. But at some point, he's going to have to draw the line and go for the one, six, seven, three times. The only person who's had a 167 in a nine darter is Jamie Caven, funny enough. <laughs> but he didn't get three of them, he only got one of them. Now, this game could potentially just be halfway through. It's very similar to the game they had last year. They're going tour to tour at each other. And it's a great match to watch, but it's also a great game to play in because you can tell that both of them are in the zone. Trouble 19. Oh, no, Eddie, oh, he says. Key point, potentially. Richie can't take the 61. He needs a 17. The double top. 21. Chance to steal, then. 
indeed. And this could well be the turning point. Double four for Lewis. Missed opportunity once again. Twice now he's had realistic opportunities like that and he's let them slip. So Ed House is back for tops and takes it. Seven legs in and he has the lead still. Get the feeling that Adrian is just maybe toying with him a little bit and waiting for that real hot streak that we saw from Dave Chisnell against Aaron Monk. You didn't catch that game. You missed a display. What a game from Chisnell. And Aaron Monk really was very good in that match as well. Yeah, I was right before, by the way. Van Gogh, and he did one with a 4-1 checkout, 19-16's double 80. He had a 150 in the third visit, triple 19, triple 19, double 18. I was right about that, yeah. And then the 147 that we saw was triple 19, bull double 20. That's, yeah. yeah. 60. If I get a, a chance to speak to Michael in the break in between sessions, I'll pass that on in case you don't. Wouldn't it be funny if we if we tell him that at about 5.30? Because he's on at 7.45 tonight, local time. 6.45 in the United Kingdom. Interesting to see if he goes for it. And Adrian was going for that 164. Just looking to square it up. 64. Leaves a ton. Needs another one, you feel. Gets one another one. The difference between a 164 and a 124 is massive. Because you can make one mistake on a 124, you can't make any with a 164. Two double tops. Yep. Sneak it under. Oh, yeah. just caught in the right and do it that way. Fantastic from Jackpot. Well, it's ironic, isn't it? I mean, he missed two darts at double four for the break of throw, and then he takes out tops, tops to level things up at four apiece. Third. If this was a boxing match, I'd say that they've both been jabbing well. And we're waiting for someone to really hurt the other guy. And we're in that leg, aren't we, Rob, that we talk about all the time, leg nine. Yep, the all-important oh. leg nine. Sometimes it's the all-important leg eight. Perfect time to break. Gives you the opportunity to hold. And he has threatened this, Lewis. 60. But this is very much going the way of the previous meeting on the European stage that we talked about just a few minutes ago. Very similar pattern. Ed House giving a really good 60. account of himself, but you just wonder if it's all just going to unravel for him. He may well start feeling the heat here, Richie Ed House. This is a big moment for him. Yeah, the One, 60s have dried up a little bit for Richie in this leg. And Adrian is just jabbing him away. But he's found them again. Excellent from Madhouse. Well, no sign of him feeling the heat there. It's a reassuring 180 on the Ed House throat. What a sensible switch that was. He gets the 19, he's on 144, which is a lot easier than 143. Treble 13, double 16. Just no, on the outside. And this would be and typical jackpot if he takes the 106. The missed darts at double 16 for Richie Edhouse opens the door for Adrian Lewis. Treble 18 would have left double 16. And it's back to the drawing board once again for Adrian Lewis because Edhouse has three darts at double 16. And things might just start to get a little bit, little bit tetchy for the two-time world champion. That said, Ed House needs double eight now. Yeah, and he finds it. Really good performance this by Richie Ed House. Yeah, the first nine darts of that ninth leg came up dry. And then he found another gear. I think that's a sign of the confidence he's got in his game at the end of matches at this point in time. Adrian, if he wants to go through to play against Colin or Durant, he's going to have to win the next two legs. 100. It may not be the glitz and glamour of what we saw with Aaron Monk and Dave Chisnell, but it's been an engrossing contest. You can't take your eyes off it. 
it's uh, a tense affair to round off the afternoon session, the evening session. Oh, Underway at 7.15 local time, 6.15 in the UK. Max Hop Keegan Brown with the honour of starting things off. Lewis looking to keep himself interested and he's down to 106 again. He's already had a crack at the 106 in the previous leg. Plenty in hand you feel here, especially if Edhouse doesn't register anything significant. Is uh, Adrian going to do what Kim Hybrex did to Weary and break him at the very final no, hurdle? Well, it could happen. It could well happen. Speed Tops. It. He's speeding up. 86. Quite, his rhythm has been so perfect all the way through the game, then he just starts speeding up. I don't understand why. 60. 20. Well, he may well take his time over this one. Ooh, long way off. Double five required here, and Ed House on the 150. Yeah, will not get a crack at it and once again as was the case in the previous match between Wade and Hybrix we are going all the way just as we did when these two met in Leverkusen at the start of last year and it's Ed House who has the advantage of throwing first and he's looking to make the most of it as well loads of room 100 oh, the second dart wasn't good I thought it may just have crept in it was just obscured slightly Difficult to tell sometimes with those very thin points. I know exactly 100. where Adrian's are because they're a lovely shade of gold. It's been a very professional contest from both players. And I have no idea who's winning this. But when Adrian plants that one there and that one there, and potentially one just to the left of those two, like that. Glorious. Yeah, Ed House may be slightly hot under the collar now. Another one of those would be priceless, no, just the wrong side of the wire. But that's okay. Great adjustment. Fantastic. Yeah, that could be pivotal. That could well be pivotal. Two darts away, potentially an 11 dart break on the cards here. Lewis has already taken out the 96 today as well. And he did it with a very accomplished first dart. Let's see what happens here. May have a little bit to work with as well. Fails to find the treble. 16, the tops next time if, if he gets the chance. Wouldn't this be something? One. Two. Adrian knows he's got a shot at it. Is it deja vu from the European Championships for 80 when Chizzy took out 157 in a 6 5? Edhouse has got the crowd. Edhouse has the game. Oh my, what a way to finish the afternoon session. And it keeps happening to Adrian Lewis. Why do people keep doing that to him? Just a mark of respect, he did everything right, but then at the end, Edouks did everything right.